Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today I can present you the awards, the whiskey.com awards, July 2020. And we have five really, really nice whiskies. And yeah, let's just dive right in. Not all of the whiskies I've tried by myself, but I know that they're good because Horst tried them and he told me all about them. The first is the um, Wild Turkey Long Branch. It says aged eight years. And Horst told me it's a very, very nice Wild Turkey whiskey with uh, a very, very good cask maturation. So very, very good casks. And eight years is quite an extensive uh, period of time for an American whiskey. So it's really a typical wild turkey whiskey and it actually looks really good. There's been a, a long and wide marketing campaign for the wild turkey long branch, but I think it was Matthew McConaughey. But uh, this is one of these whiskeys which is, I wouldn't classify it as one of these celebrity whiskeys where a celebrity brings out a whiskey. This was a whiskey that was created because of, uh, yeah, what they wanted to create because of the whiskey. And then they took Matthew McConaughey in to just give it a marketing boost. And uh, as far as I've heard that he's, he's not a total noob to whiskey. So they took someone who has a bit of experience with whiskey. Um, yeah. The next one is the Black Bull Kylo or something like that. And it's a Duncan Taylor bottling. It's uh, it's not very, very, very high class. It's not like a really, really good whiskey, but it's a good whiskey for a very good price. So we've, we've looked at the price to quality ratio at this point, and that was really, really good. So that's the exceptional part why this uh, whiskey deserved the whiskey.com award of the month. It's uh, lightly smoky, very complex, and yeah, uh, just a nice Scotch whiskey with 50% ABV. And then I have an Irish whiskey that I've tried, the Hyde Oloroso, and I've had a lot of these Hyde numbered whiskeys. This is the number seven Oloroso cask, sherry cask, matured, and um, I do like these Hyde uh, whiskies because they have really nice cask maturations. The cask influence on these whiskies is really good. They do have really good casks, and this is just uh, was just a very yeah. How do I say it? Like like a stereotypical Oloroso cask. So that's what I would expect to get from an Oloroso cask. It was just, you had an expectation, it was met fully, and that is the height number seven Oloroso cask. If you have the, the idea of that nuttiness, that fruitiness that comes from an Oloroso cask, that's inside that height, and it's of really good quality. Then we have the Waterford, and that's um, I've read about this one. Um, single farm origin. They they are a distillery that used to be an old. Oh, don't ask me what distillery was before, but a big one. And they're now going into the Tourer or the, the the land around it. So they are sourcing from. You're probably writing it on the back. Can't see it right now, but they're sourcing it from various different farms, small farms, and they all write the farm on it and the um, the grain that was harvested at the farm. And they th they say that the the product, the grain that matters, what that comes into a whiskey. Definitely, definitely. And uh, here we have a simple farm origin, Banno Island edition 1.1. And that's that's the the cool thing about uh, the single farm uh, Waterford, that they they give you a lot of information where your stuff comes from, 
and they put a lot of effort into it. And I've heard that uh, he told me that they put a lot of money into their casks as well. So 30% of that is uh, spent on wood that was spent on whiskey. Also, they have a, a really cool, cool glass stopper. Um, be careful, that glass stopper is uh, airtight and not just somewhat airtight, but 100% airtight. We've stored it in, in the car um, and when you close the car and it's summer in Germany, then it's really, really hot and the, uh, the cork just popped out and we spilled a bit of it. Uh, yeah, so that uh, seal, seal here is very, very good. But be careful uh, if the bottle gets too hot. You shouldn't store a bottle of whiskey in a hot car in the sun. Yeah, sometimes we do that. That's not what we should do. And the last one is a really, really good one. It's the Port Charlotte OLC01 or something like that. Yeah, OLC01. Uh, OLC stands for Oloroso Cask. OL, Oloroso, C for Cask. Uh, 01 2010 just a very nice complex very complex uh, heavily peated Isla single malt just very good and the guys at Bruchletti who produce this um, just have the experience and everything down and yeah it's awesome yeah I can highly recommend it I think it's pretty expensive. It's not cheap. Uh, I'm not quite sure if it's above 100 or somewhere around 100. If you look at the, the video I'm telling you about, roughly about the price. So you're getting exceptionally good whiskey for yeah a good price, let's say it that way. Yeah. These were the five whiskies of July for the whiskey.com awards. They are really, really good. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.